What is going on? Welcome back to Huntsville Dreaming. I'm Justin Forehand, and I just wanted to see if you are looking for the perfect place to live in Madison with zone for Madison City Schools. If that's you, stay tuned, because I've got a great house for you to look at. All right, welcome back. We're going to take a look at my listing here at 110 Mary Caldwell Way. It is a five-bedroom, three-bath uh, zone for Madison City Schools, and it is being listed right now for $499,240. Uh, this is a 3,200-square-foot house. Like I said, five-bedroom, three-bath. You can see, get all these details, look through all the pictures by going to 110marycoddle.com. It'll take you right to this page. Uh, but just real quick, I'm going to go through to the end of these pictures so you can see um, one of the biggest features of this house. It's where it's located in this neighborhood. Uh, there is a pond that is located here. And of course, right now with the drought and everything, it's kind of empty. But uh, when it's full, this is a beautiful uh, backyard. You have a screened in back porch that you're able to um, look at the pond. There's all kinds of wildlife. Right before we took these pictures, there was a, cr a couple cranes. Uh, they see turtles and everything out there. So it's just a great uh, place to uh, relax and re uh, unwind for the day. Uh, like I said, it's a screen and porch back here. And then there's a concrete porch out here outside that you can also relax on. So uh, biggest, I would say plus of owning this home is this view of the backyard. Um, there are only a few houses in this neighborhood that have this view. As you can see over here on this side, the trees are all grown up. And uh, right here in this backyard, plain open view. So uh, it's one of the great things I love about this house. And uh, just on top of all the nice finishing and just beautiful house on the inside, you'll also have that great view on the outside. So we're going to talk a little bit about where this house is located. Like I said, it's in Madison. Uh, it's actually in Triana City Limits. If you're going south on Zert Road, you'll see a, Ma uh, a Triana City Limits sign, and then the turn into Mary Cottle is right there, right past it to the right. And um, here I'll pull up Google Maps. You'll see that sign somewhere around here, and then the first turn in to Mary Cottle is right here, and then the, the house is located right here so if you were to google 110 mary coddle right now it's putting the location in the wrong place but um, this is where it's located and as you can see there's pond this pond here so it's uh, one of the bigger lots as you can see these are all smaller along uh, prince water here but it's one of the bigger lots and what's great about this location it's in between zert road and Wall Triana, which is, this is in the River Landing uh, subdivision. You, know, you have all these different neighborhoods. This is Nickel Creek. You have the Willows, the Crossings, uh, Pebble Creek, and then you have your pro uh, promenade townhouses here. But it's pretty much in a prime location where you can get to anywhere in the Huntsville area within 25, 30 minutes, depending on traffic, because you have pretty quick access to the interstate from here. Uh, like I said, it's located in between Zert Road and Waltrana, and both of those roads lead to exits to 565. So as we start going north here, you can see that the airport's here on the left, um, and then Gate 7 to Redstone Arsenal is here, so about two miles from the house. So if you work on Redstone, great location, uh, two miles to the gate to get into Redstone there on Martin Road. You also have new development. Well, it's we say new, but it's probably about five years now. It just still feels new. But uh, Publix is right here at uh, the shopping center. The shops at uh, Redstone, and they're starting to build all kinds of different things in here. And they're they're building a building here that's going to have a um, a pet store. Uh, there's an oil change place here, coffee place. You got McDonald's. You have a uh, Mexican restaurant, car wash, and a couple other shop, shops along here. 
moving forward further north on Zent Road, you come to Town Madison, and uh, this is where the Trash Pandas play, minor league baseball team here in Huntsville. And then you have all these restaurants along <clears throat> this side of the road. You have a couple chicken places. Um, there's a Taco Mama over here. And just uh, Town Madison is one of the newer developments here in Huntsville. And we eat at of course, Slim Chickens probably once a week. And then um, we like Super Chicks as well. Of course, there's a Five Guys uh, right next to Super Chicks. But this is where you can get, get on to... You go to Madison Boulevard and take a right, and that leads to 565. You see the ramp here. And then we'll zoom back out and go over to exit 9 on Waltrana. Uh, you get off here, or if you want to go west, you uh, get off on this ramp here, and it'll take you west. Um, on this side is a continuing... The Town Madison development, there is a uh, Trader Joe's, not a Trader Joe's, um, BJ's Wholesale, and then a Duluth Trading Company over here. And then um, a couple gas stations, there's Chick-fil-A being built here, you got a Cracker Barrel, uh, the post office is right here, so it's all, all this stuff is really close. And then up on Madison Boulevard, you have your Walmart, um, and then uh, there's more restaurants along here so not too far from uh, some of the places to eat and shop here in Huntsville it's also really close to Bridge Street um, let's see uh, right here Bridge Street you can get off on uh, Governor's West or 255 North and uh, that's where Cheesecake Factory Apple Store uh, there's movie theater uh, that type of thing all in that area so uh, these are the some of the prime locations here in Huntsville, and it's very very close to where that where this house is located. Uh, as you see, this is a growing area. They've uh, four lane Zernt Road. When I first moved here uh, back in 2011, uh, this was a, a two lane road, and it was uh, very congested. But it's opened up. It's uh, much better now, and um, I just like that the flow of traffic has gotten better heading to the interstate. Uh, but as you can see, prime location, Madison City Schools. Uh, it's zoned for Bob Jones High School. And uh, you know, those are just some of the many pluses. Also, it is very close to the Tennessee River. If you like to get out on the boat or anything like that, um, you can get to the river through Triana. So that's where the house is located. We. Uh, Showed you some of the finishings in here. If you need to see, if you want to see more, you can go to 110marycoddle.com, and it'll take you right to this page that we're on right now. But as you can see, nice granite countertops, wood floors throughout the house, uh, fireplace. Um, one of the good things, or one of the things I like about this house is you can go in through the master bedroom, go into the uh, bathroom then the closet and then from the closet you can get back to the laundry room so um, that's one of the things that I like about the features I like about this house uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this here and then right after this will be a video walkthrough of the house so you can see the layout uh, how things flow throughout the house um, and where everything's located because pictures you just see the pictures and you're not quite sure where it's located within the house so the video walkthrough, you'll be able to see that. If you would like to see the house in person, feel free to reach out. My phone number is 256-542-0226. I'd love to talk to you, uh, see what you want, see what, uh, set up a time where we can go see this house. And uh, it, just not for this house, but if you would like to talk real estate here in the Huntsville area, uh, feel free to call me about that as well. But without further ado, here is video walkthrough of 110 Mary Cottle Drive.
right, so you made it to the end of the video. Uh, I hope you loved what you saw in the walkthrough. If there's anything you would like to know about the house, please reach out. Once again, phone number 256-542-0226. If you'd love to see it in person, I'd love to show it to you. Uh, but once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.